And once you're a registered user and you're ready to log in to the desktop coach, you will start back at this login registration page. You log in as I'm doing here. That takes me immediately to the desktop coach and the welcome page. You can also see that there's now a menu on this left-hand side of your screen that is your access, is your gateway to all of the features of the desktop coach and all of the things that it does to support your work with your talent. We'll go first to the coaching manager because this is coaching central for me. If I'm a news director or another news manager working with talent, you can see that it's beginning to show a list of employees that I'm working with and reviewing. Again, my menu of features stays with me. There's the manager, which is the page I'm on now. Access to the coaching calendar, which we will look at in detail later, but you will see that the system automatically schedules future coaching sessions and keeps track of them for you so that you can be sure to follow up with people as you progress in your work with them. Uh, TCC Best Practices takes you to the coaching company's best practices library, which we'll uh, study in some detail later, but it is a, uh, a library of examples and tips to help you work with folks in all the critical areas of performance that the desktop coach assesses. Let's start while we're, well, one other thing to notice about this is you'll notice that um, on all of these pages inside the coaching manager you will see an employee listed you'll see a series of icons out to action icons out to the right which you use to manage your work with that employee and an explanation of those icons is always included at the bottom of the page so next to each of my employees here I've got an icon for tracker history that's the page where all of my reviews for that person and the reports that I have stored for that person uh, reside. Uh, complete tracker is the command that I give when I want to complete another performance tracker on an employee in anticipation of my next review with that person. Uh, edit employee uh, gives me the option to change, change information related to that talent and then of course delete employee uh, gives me the option of deleting that employee when they're no longer uh, part of my uh, team or a concern in this particular system. So let's look at the process of adding a new employee which again is very simple but it, it begins to cue you to some of the really uh, sophisticated and and need advanced features of the desktop coach. Again, simply entering the um, first and last name of the talent you want to review. And you'll notice the coach asks you to indicate whether uh, this talent is male or female. That is because the one thing the system is going to do is it's going to rate performances of your people against performances of like people already in the system. And it's designed to be certain that the system compares apples to apples. So male talent don't get compared to female talent. Anchors don't get compared to reporters, weather casters, or sports casters. Uh, you can see the system also, remember, let me click and start this. So, so you designate whether male or female, what role the person plays in your newsroom, what day part they work uh, most or what day part you'd prefer to review them for, how long they have been in that particular position. Again, important from the standpoint of comparing results because it ensures that someone with a lot of experience does not get compared to people with relatively little experience. 
and then finally you're asked to tell the system how frequently you want to review this particular employee that will then tell the system what it needs to automatically schedule future reviews for you and advise you about them so once that once that's all done you submit system tells you that the details were inserted successfully and you're now ready to uh, manage your work with that employee you see bill as uh, listed here uh, and I'm gonna go out uh, I won't go to tracker history yet because he has no history so the first thing I'm going to want to do with this employee who's new in my system is complete a performance tracker and I click the little icon there and it takes me to the breakthrough performance tracker and now I'm ready to begin the process of comprehensively assessing this employee's performance.